When it comes to laptop microphones, they usually suck, but they get the job done. There are a couple changes that you can do when you're recording yourself on your laptop that really improves audio quality, and I'll show you them today. When you're recording yourself on your laptop, there really is only one program that comes to mind. It's called Audacity. Now, Audacity is a very lightweight program that allows you to just have a lot of options when recording yourself. So I'll leave this link in the description where you can download Audacity. And really, this tutorial will just be about customizing your audio quality when it comes to recording. So this is kind of different from just audio quality. It's about recording quality with your laptop microphone. So after you download the file, you can open the executable and follow the download instructions because it's very simple. It's a lightweight program. Audacity provides you tools for recording and you just hit next on the several props and install it. It's very quick, easy, and it's a small file to install. So after that's done, we'll get into some of the details when it comes to editing whatever you record. And then finally, we'll do a comparison to what I record did originally and what changes happen. So first change is the project rate. I like to increase the project rate because the amount of hertz can change how the audio changes. So instead of doing the 44,000, I just double it by roughly, it's a, it's a rough double and it's 96,000. When we look at the recording volume and also the playback volume, usually you'll have these default values. The playback volume will just be whatever your speakers are at the moment, but the recording volume is also by default whatever you have at the moment. Usually it's at the right settings, but you can play around with it. Now I'm going to record a little snippet where I'm also typing and recording whatever I say. And it's just a quick test recording. And I'll show you at the end of the video the changes um, that it sounds like. So if you want to just check the changes and how it sounds before and after, then just skip through the video. But basically, if we use edit and zoom in a little bit more, then we can see that my recording with my laptop volume is just really low. You can barely hear it. And even though I have recording at 82 roughly, it is still very, like, inaudible. It's basically silent, right? So I just exported it as an audio file, and you'll hear it at the end of the video. Secondly, we're going to do a little changes. Now, these effect changes, basically, first change is compressor. Now, if we select everything by control a make sure you select everything and use the effect called compressor you can see that it basically normalizes the waves of your audio recording and makes it cleaner the second edit that we want to do is find a place where there's just really a lot of background noise a lot of typing things that we don't want so if you highlight that area go to the noise reduction effect and then get this noise profile of that area first of all. Afterwards, press Control A and select your whole audio. I was trying to find select all under edit, but I couldn't find it. So Control A, it's a shortcut for Windows users. And you go back to effect and go to noise reduction. And you hit OK. So noise reduction is a two-step process. Basically, first you get the noise profile of everything that you want to delete and then you hit OK to delete that audio. Now, sometimes you might have some noise left, some background noise, so highlight it again, go to effect, and just apply the effect again until you get that extra noise out because you really don't want typing in the background or background noise, and that's something that laptop microphones really always get because it, they always pick up the background noise. Now, still, there are some parts left where there are a little background noise, but it's just one here or there. So what you do with those small parts is you sometimes have to highlight individual parts if it's really something that you don't want. And that's, you know, the result of using laptop microphone. So you generate silence 
And basically, we're deleting that section, but replacing it with silence. So for all the places that you really don't want any background noise, any breathing whatsoever, then all you do is highlight the area and hit generate silence. So I'll do that for the rest of the, these clips. I was trying to figure out a way to highlight multiple parts simultaneously, but it did not seem to work. Here I am trying to figure it out how to highlight these two places that I wanted to silence simultaneously, but it didn't really work out. So then I just proceeded on silencing everything individually, which is something that you might have to do because if you want that perfect audio with laptop microphone, the biggest problem for me with laptop microphone is that it does pick up everything in the background, which always sucks. And you usually don't want that. So you have to apply these noise reductions and also generate silence. And afterwards, you're basically complete. And I'll provide the comparison at the end of the video. I'll export these two audio files. You already saw me export the original, but I'll export this edited file. So basically, there were three steps. First step was compression to normalize the full audio. Second step was noise reduction. And last but not least was silencing the small parts, um, the parts that were left. So thanks for watching everyone and you'll hear the audio clip. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three.